Choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Amo Williams in Orlando. Amo, good win for you tonight. Was it tough in there with Steve Rhodes? Uh, it wasn't necessarily. It, it was tricky. I say it was tricky. Uh, he knows how to stay on the back foot. Um, I definitely could have been a little bit more aggressive, but you never want to get overly aggressive and run into something you don't have to run into. Um, so it's definitely just working on engagement. Uh, I could have engaged them a bit more, but it was a great win for myself. When it's someone like Steve Rolls, who's been in there with like Gennady Golovkin, and you've went 10 rounds with him, are you happy to get the rounds in tonight as well? Oh yeah, definitely. Now, we at the point now where experience is everything. I need the experience. We're about to start having world championship fights and things of that nature. So it is about experience. It is about the rounds. It's no longer that like, young career when it's about first round knockouts of a trash can guy it's about really having the experience with guys now they could say he beat steve rose convincingly unanimous decision you know pretty much one-sided fight you know things like that so it's more so about the experiences now and the time in the ring moving on from from steve rose what's next for amo williams you know that felix cash fight has fell through is is it kind of gone past the stage of that will ever happen there that's never gonna happen we are to Bigger things like me and my manager was just talking about. It's a, it's a world championship run now. Um, these fights are the ones that prove that we belong in that top tier. He's my first real world level opponent, like true world level opponent, and we beat him easily. Like I said, with my team more, it was us more so about me. It was all about me, about me pushing more and things. But at the end of the day, we did what we had to do to win convincingly. So we definitely showed that we world level, and that's the realm that we playing in now. With Matchroom guiding your career, who is it that you would like to face next? Give me some names of guys out there that you feel like you'd want to mix it with. I'm not really sure. I'm not familiar with who's in place um, because my mind has been so focused on Steve Rose. You know what I mean? Steve Rose is not an easy fighter. He's definitely a tricky guy. He's somebody that you have to give all your attention to. So those sorts of things, I got to go back to the drawing board, see what the landscape is and uh, start you know, pinpointing things, but we haven't had our mind on anybody other than Steve yet, but that's what we're on the works of doing now, figuring that out. Last one from me. Matchroom teased the show in Houston, Texas. They spoke about maybe Regis Progray because he trains out of Houston, fighting there. Would you like Matchroom to bring big time boxing back to Houston? Oh, we definitely bring him back, uh, boxing back to Houston. It has to happen. I'm the guy. Regis Progray is definitely my guy. There's so many people that can bring uh, Oshaki Foster, we got so many people who can bring uh, boxing back to Houston with the matchroom stable. So, yes, boxing will be back in Houston right away. Regis world champion, Oshiki world champion. Me, I'm on my way. They're my big brothers. I mean, I came up behind them. So, it's definitely on the way. We ready, and I hope you're there when it when it happens. I'm a Williams. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Do to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut, shut up about it. Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.